guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle and this week I'm on another adventure with Ontario Southwest and Ontario's Blue Coast. So this week I am, well this weekend, I was exploring the Sarnia as well as the Grand Bend area which was really cool. We discovered a whole bunch of new things that we never really knew about the area. I find you don't really realize how many things that are just like right outside your backyard within like two, three hours distance and like new restaurants, new things to discover. So I'm going to show you that all in this video. But we checked in about two nights ago, so we've been sleeping here the past two nights, and we're staying in this wonderful Airbnb, Airbnb that you can also get. So it's actually a converted chapel that they converted into um, a place to stay that you can rent on Airbnb. So I'm gonna show you a full uh, tour of the Airbnb so you can see that. But for now, I'm gonna take you back the past two days and show you what we have been up to. <laughs> shot of his uh, espresso and a cappuccino. The double. So he's going to be wi he's wired already as you can tell. <laughs> but they are delicious. Uh, Dominican. I have uh, that one's Panama, which is a uh, Don Vincent. Ethiopian grade one. Guatemala, Mexican Chiapas. Ethiopian grade two. Colombian Mama China. Indonesian Sumatra. Nice. I have uh, Galapagos. Mount Everest. Day two and it's time for breakfast. I just came downstairs from the bathroom and look what I found. There's a teacher's lounge and look how cool it is. That is the neatest little spot. Like I said, 
said that beach was freezing. So we're warming up now. We're at Highway Girl Cafe, which is this like cutest cafe. They have all these like little things to look at, a little shop. They have a bunch of baked goods, delicious coffee. I picked up some of their energy bites. So there was one keto one, like a coconut one, and then like a chocolate peanut butter one. So I got some of those to go to have later on throughout the day. But yeah, there's, there's even kombucha. That's when you know it's a good place. But it is the cutest place here. So if you're ever in the area, definitely Instagram worthy. Another stop of the day is Dark Horse Winery. So they are located maybe just 10 minute drive, I think it was, just from the main strip of Grand Bend, which is crazy, because I don't know if you knew, but I used to have a cottage in Grand Bend right off the main strip, and this was definitely not here when I was uh, growing up, which I think my family would have loved. I mean, I couldn't, I was too young, but my mom definitely would have loved it here, but it is one of the most beautiful wineries I think I've ever seen. Just all the wood accents and different things like that is just so beautiful. I think it'd be one of the, one of the best places to have a wedding, so if you ever think about that they have some gorgeous spaces definitely check it out but it is so stunning like all the little details and stuff that they have here I just wish it was a little warmer that we could go outside and they have like a beautiful area all here and then they even have a patio visiting the pinery now and it is like snowing chunks you can see it on my sleeve chunks of snow it's cold but it's really beautiful beautiful pathways and I think we're gonna go try feeding some birds so I don't know if it's gonna work out but we're going to attempt that and then the sand dunes and explore a whole bunch of different areas here at the pinery last stop of the whole trip was breakfast on the last day at McPherson's which looks like a little gas station but it is the most delicious food with Belgian waffles and daily specials so this is the beautiful kitchen area and all the stained glass is original from the ch uh, the chapel or the church before and it is so you see you have like a little eating area here more down there that's from the church as well you have a lounge area cozy little fireplace and they come down here and they have tons of like fun games so there's karaoke It'll be fun you got some hula hoops a skateboard this is actually a basketball net that you can play with when you have a little trampoline and then over here is another bed so at least four people on the main area and here is a hammock which is a very cozy spot 
And then it's cool. So if you come up here into the loft, there is another bed. And then it's cool because you can see over everything. Last but not least, here is another bedroom. Excuse me, so this is where we're sleeping. So you know the uh, queen bed, and then you have a bathroom. I hope you guys liked that vlog and you learned a few new things about Sarnia as well as Grand Bend. We definitely learned a few things, especially the pinery. I think I went there when I was little when I used to grow, uh, have a cottage in Grand Bend, but I definitely haven't been there in a long time and forgot about all the fun things you can do, like feeding the chickadees, which was so much fun. I felt like I could stay there for hours, even though my hand was freezing, as well as they told us they have yurts, so you can stay there overnight and it's fully heated, which would be a really cool adventure. We also discovered some new restaurants that we never would have done before as well so there's a whole bunch of fun things to do in the area and like i said staying in this super sweet airbnb like when do you ever get a chance to stay in a chapel which is pretty cool so i hope you guys liked this video thank you to ontario southwest and ontario's blue coast for hosting us for the weekend if you like this video and want to see more travel content please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as i'm back every week with more videos as always thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next week bye